Okay, Aries, let's get started. And we will be starting on the left side with the two cards. And this will be your recent past. Okay, so in the recent past, we start with the devil card. All right, now, so in your past, if you were in a long-term relationship, one or both parties may have gotten to the point where they felt as though they were trapped in the situation. Okay, so if you're, if you were getting signals that that was, that was the case, then you guys probably tried to talk it through to see what the issues were. If you, if you two wanted to save the relationships, that's, pro that's probably what you did. Okay, so now with the double card, uh, it usually appears when there was probably really nothing to be done but to end an unhappy relationship or situation. Okay, so you knew that you always had choices at that time. The steps to keep the magic alive. You knew you had choices, you know, as in regards as to what to do and to keep in regards of what to do to keep the relationship alive. You had choices. Excuse me, I have a really bad cold. Okay, so if you were seeking love at that time, that would have been a signal that you're reaching the point of desperation. Okay, now that's with the devil card. Now we move on below the devil card, we have the king of cups. So we're still in your past, and with, with regards to love, when the king appears, it's very good news. So there are a few cards that are more loving than the king of cups. If you are, if you were looking for love, that, that was an indication, someone who is very balanced and loving head your way. Okay, so what this basically saying is that with the King of Cups, if you were looking for love in the past, someone balanced and level-headed, loving, they they probably came into your life. And then it says, it sh the cards are showing that um, all are not infallible when it comes to the indication of physical characteristics. But in general, the cups will indicate people with hair coloring on the lighter end of the spectrum. But that could go either way, okay? The king bodies well regarding love. Okay, so that was in your past. Now, let's go on to the present. Okay, the present, we have the star card at the very top in the middle. Okay, this is an excellent time to meet someone. Okay, so if you are in the market for a new relationship, although it's not impossible that love may simply knock on your door, it is more likely that you will need to get out there and mingle. A new relationship could happen at any time, so don't turn down any invitations. If you're already in love and committed, then your, com then your relationship may be ready to move to the next level. Okay, so one that is not only higher, at a higher level, but is more fulfilling. Make the most of this opportunity and build on it. Okay, and below the star card is the strength card. Okay, now with the strength card, love should be going very well. And if you're, if you're, excuse me, committed, this is very likely to be a strong relationship. Uh, the relationship is more than likely mutual, supportive, and beneficial. Okay, so if you're looking for someone 
this is a much better than average time to meet people, okay? And you should be in a self-confident phase, feeling real good about yourself. So get out and mingle. You might be very pleasantly surprised by how things work out. So that's in your present. Now let's move on to the challenge, the bottom two cards in the middle. Okay, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So if you're currently in a committed relationship, it may well rise to new and much better heights real soon. Okay, you will reconnect if you're looking for love. This is a very positive time to get out and meet people. Something new could start that is very promising in terms of love. Be prepared, think positively, and have fun. Okay, and below the street, street card is the Ten of Cups. So if you are worrying about a romantic relationship and you receive this card, the Ten of Cups, it's a clear indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. So you and your beloved are on the same page. If you're in a relationship but have not made a formal commitment and hope that it comes to pass, take heart. It's coming. All right? So don't sabotage things by causing problems where there aren't any. Okay? So those are two positive cards as far as your challenge. All right? Now let's go move over to the right and this would be the outcome all right and we start with the five of pentacles now the five of pentacles is not a particularly happy indicator when it comes to love questions unfortunately okay so you may have to well you may have your eye on someone who you feel is not treating you the way they should it may be that you need to stop, excuse me, fantasizing about this person entirely. This card can be very much a card of feeling left out in the cold. So it's important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level happy, meaningful relationship. Now, when love is right, you don't have to do backflips to make it work. Remember that, Aries. So broaden your horizons and try hard to think positively. Okay? You are not an unlovable troll. Okay? And below the Five of Pentacles for your outcome, we finish off with the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands, when this card appears, you're probably feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be coming your way, okay? Again, you must not push someone before they are ready. You can't, you cannot get your needs met by force. Distract yourself if necessary, and your beloved one may be back to you before you know it. Offering the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter. On a silver platter, Aries. Okay. I hope it's a great month for you. And I thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.